Hey there all, um, just a quick word before I start the playthrough, I just want to say that this game is awesome, it is such a wonderful game, doesn't matter whether you own the 8-bit version or the 16-bit version, they are both very good games, and I'm proud to say that I love them. So uh, yeah, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker is a terrific game. They both play very similar, they both share the same plot. Only the 16-bit version has a few more things in it. And of course it's got better music. <laughs> so yeah, I was uh you know from, from what I've read on the all over the internet it seems to be the MJ fans <coughs> that are the biggest critics of this game they seem to be the ones that don't really like it much whereas non-MJ fans like me don't have a problem with this game I, I love this game I mean it's it's fun <laughs> in case some of you don't know what the plot of this game is I'm gonna tell you now this is going to sound weird, but <clears throat> I mean it in the, the nicest possible way, okay? The object of the game is for you as Michael Jackson to rescue kids by touching them. Now, I know how that sounds, but thats I did not mean that in the bad way. I mean that in the good way. You have to, literally, you have to rescue children, and the only way to rescue them is to touch them. The plot of this game is the very problem, is the very thing that haunted Michael Jackson's last 16 years of his life. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say. I'll start the playthrough. Oh, and um, in case you don't know, I'm going to be playing the 8-bit version, not the 16-bit version. I just thought I'd... Show them off, both of them. <laughs> one day I will do that one, but at the moment I'm focusing on Master System games, so I'll do the 8-bit version. Alright, here we go. Michael Jackson is... The Thriller. Thank <laughs> you. 